Hey guys, today we're day drinking. And it's such a great day for day drinking. Hope you don't think you got nothing to say. Let the romance take you all where it may. There's only one song that the neighbor's gonna hear. Free music, free beer. Hey, I am here at Los Balcones with Josh Sukan, who is the bar manager here. Mm -hmm. And he has quite a drink for us today. It is an all-black drink, which is kind of freaky and amazing all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it is dramatic, yes. Right? Yeah, so today I'm making a, what we call the final burn. It's a spin off of a classic cocktail called The Last Word. And it's our kind of mezcal, um, herbaceous kind of take on the whole thing. And it's garnished with a little bit of activated charcoal for this kind of dramatic black effect to it. I'm excited. So to begin, I'm gonna start with three quarter ounce of our lime juice, three quarter ounce of our yellow chartreuse, three quarter ounce of our alpine liqueur, and three quarter ounce of our mezcal. To finish this off, we have an activated charcoal pill. This you can pick up at any local health store. Helps in digestion, taking out toxins, all that good stuff. And then last, I'm gonna take my glass and I'm gonna rinse it with absinthe. Give it a good shake. And there we have it. We call it the final burn and it's on our menu here at our restaurant, Los Balcones. Final burn, cheers, day cheers. drinking. Day drinking. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious. It's a good little drink. Mm. Not mad about that at all. Not <laughs> mad about that at all. It's so surprising because you look at the color of it and you think it's going to be like this rich drink, but it's so bright and so mm -hmm. refreshing, actually. Like, it this drink is, yeah. is like such a refreshing drink. It, it actually is such a summer drink. All right, yeah, yeah. We are gonna use it to cross over like fall, summer, all that stuff. It's uh, it's kind of a very versatile, like I say, herbaceousness with the uh, all the ingredients we put in to kind of play off the, the mezcal sure. and what we wanna go do with that. Um, well, you know, here in Los Angeles, we do have the endless summer. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the seasonal effects here right, at all. Yeah, right. no. <laughs> so it is kind of the perfect fall cocktail for California. Tell us a little bit about activated charcoal as an ingredient, have you worked with it before? Not particularly. I always thought that turning cocktails black for the sake of turning cocktails black is kind of stupid, mm. um, theatrical and unnecessary. Uh, but I happen to have some because I shop at this local hippie market. And um, I was like, oh, I'd like to do a little because detox. from Portland. I am from Portland. Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I had it on me and we were working with this drink and he, he approached me and said he wanted to do a last word variation with the mezcal. And I kind of helped guide him with you know, what might go well with into this cocktail and whatnot. It was very much like a team team effort. And he, uh, I, I happened to have these pills on me. I said, if we're going to call it the final burn, and it has mezcal and that kind of smoky characteristic to it, let's just stick it to the theme and put a, uh, an activated charcoal pill in that. Sure. And as soon as we did that, and we saw kind of, it, it took it from being a bright, kind of summery, awesome drink to this kind of mysterious, dramatic, totally. fun drink to display. And as we know, like the, the last word is a, a cocktail that has no garnish. And so to have something as simple as this, where it's not anything hanging off, there's no fruit in there, nothing like that. It doesn't right. mess with the, how the drink's perceived other than the color itself. Mm. It just clicks. If I saw this at the end of a bar, mm -hmm. if someone ordered, I'd be like, what is that? I want to exactly. know. Exactly. It's kind of a conversation starter. Yeah. You see people kind of reopen their menu and it's like, what is going on? So that was a delicious cocktail. You can find out how to make it. The recipe will be below mm -hmm. in the comments. And you can follow along because obviously Josh made one for us. Absolutely. Cheers, y'all. Enjoy. <laughs> we did it. Mm. Mm, that is good.